Hello today. Welcome back to the first Liberal rabbit farm. On this channel, I discuss basically about rabbit farming and the importance of urban agriculture initiative. Well, if this is your first time to this channel, I plead with you to please subscribe to this channel because we got a lot of great video coming up on this channel. We got a cross section of local farmer that we are interacting with and they're going to be sharing that experience right here on this channel as it relates to their own venture they are doing. It could be cow, sheep, pig, goat, cash crop production, whatever the case may be. Once it has to do with agricultural initiative, in my location here, we're going to be discussing some of those issues right here on this channel. This is why I plead with you to please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like as well. That's the kind of way I'm motivated to start creating more videos. Uh, today's topic is basically on the importance of creating quality cages for your rabbit breeding purposes. That is, if you are engaging into the process for business, one of the areas that you really have to focus so that you can do best in terms of seal is cages construction. You got to construct as many, many cages as you can. You are constructing based on the kind of mums you got. If you have like six, seven mums, then you have to construct about six, seven cages. The reason for which you are constructing those cages is to be able to propagate these children when they reach their winning stage, you got to take them from their mother and put them in separate cages. And if you don't do that in the process of rabbit farming, you stand a whole lot of confusion to face from the bunnies. That is when you just have a whole lot of them pack up in one cage. Either they die from suffocation or they're going to fight among themselves. And then you're going to be like the loser because when rabbit fight among themselves, they hurt one another. Yeah, they hurt one another in a very dangerous way that sometimes the wound can cause death. So what will make you to be successful in your rabbit farming venture is quality cage construction. Yeah. So if this is your first time to this channel, I say you are welcome. This is the first Liberia rabbit farm. Please like our channel because we get a lot of great video coming up. And don't forget to like as well. The bell is there, the notification bell. You hit the bell and you will be notified. Now, let me bring you to the importance of creating quality cages for your rabbit farming venture. Well, I just run you through, but step by step. What you need to do to create your rabbit cage and be on time with the mother that is giving birth, that is the dough. How to go about the process that you will not have any confusion in terms of the kids growing up to become mature. Uh, this video came awake from some guys that sent me inbox messages on my messenger. And the other one, like, kind of asking, is it always good to just have the rabbit on the floor in the garage? Uh, my answer back to them is no. I don't like to encourage that. The reason is this. That there's a kind of mouse, rat. It got long mouth. That rat is horrible when it comes to rabbit. That rat can fight even the bigger rabbit to cut their body and feed. So if you just have your rabbit in the garage and uh, you might not even know that that rabbit is around there, but you'll be surprised to run money and you will see your rabbit have a wound on it. Yeah, the reason for which the rabbit will be having that wound on it is because it will attack in the night by a rat. So I don't like to encourage for you to just have your bunny on the ground a random lake. What are you even protected the space? But I always like to tell people to create a cage like 16. It will be very okay for you because 
Rabbi is beautiful, but Rabbi is not able to fight back some predator, most especially pesky predator. And the garage is a kind of area. Some people garage is built in an area that they they there are some other creeping uh predators that can move upper part or the inner part of the area. So you cannot tell the rabbit might be in there. Sometimes even long john of a snake here. Yeah, the other guys have some snake in my garage. Yeah, it's not impossible for some facility, most especially in Africa. Yeah. So you got to create a very safe system that you can trust. Like for instance, when you have a cage that you, that you can lock and possess the key, you know within yourself that you trust that process. You know within yourself that if even you go for two days, there will be no harm to your rabbit in the cage because when even that rat come, that rat will notice that the rabbit is in a cage. And uh, when even long john come around, that snakes, and long john will know that yes, the rabbit is in a cage, there's no way to enter. So somebody might be asking again, what do I need to make my own cages? What do I need to make my own cages? You need wire legs. I think you can see the wires in my video illustration. You need that kind of wire leg. And I, I'm also doing a chat for you. You're going to look at the chat. I'm going to discuss the chat step by step. And then you're going to, from that point, you can be able to go to the carpenter shop and just do the same sketch that I'm showing you. And then you just tell the carpenter man, say, look, I want you to make this kind of a cage for me because it's what I want. In Liberia, when you go to face rabbit cage, many a times the carpenters are confused because it's, it's um, new to them. It's um, very new to them. They don't even know about rabbit cage construction. So you have to tell them the way you want the rabbit cage to be constructed. And that way I am right now to drive you through because it got to be a self-cleaning cages. It got to be a self-cleaning cages. If, if not a self-cleaning cage, you stand a serial health problem with the rabbit. How do I mean? The rabbit not supposed to smell your own urine back. The rabbit not supposed to be wrapping all into your own poop. So in order to work on that mechanism is what? Create a self-cleaning cage that will have the, the poop dropping. And that means it will be dropping from where? The first stage. To the zinc that is the second stage and the urine same with the urine the urine will be dropping from where the rabbit urinated coming down to the zinc and it's going to be rolling into any other continuum that you set with the pub leg system so that it can be able to hold that urine once it's like that you will see your rabbit cages or in your rabbit hash will not be smelling I like to tell people rabbit urine is very, very corrosive. That means it smells very strong stinks. So in order to propagate in a way that we not get any other bad smell is to have it in a continual leg that is sealed. You only have the tube rushing from the pipe straight into the continuum. So that way when the rabbit urine roll on the zinc, it will drop into, into, into the pipe and then it's just going to roll down. And then no problem with your rabbit urine in the continuum because there will be no means of it smelling all over the place. No. And my example, as you can see where I'm standing now, you saw the illustration, and there is no smell of rabbit urine here. So the only thing I do in the morning when I come, uh, sweep the rabbit poop uh, that is resting over the zinc, that is the dropping, put it to where I can always keep it, and then use water. And little disinfectants and just waste it on the zinc, sweep it up, I'm done for the day. And the rabbit are all healthy, as you can see in the video illustration. So, if you don't have a quality rabbit case system in place, you stand a zero risk in terms of losing your rabbit. At times, you cannot even give quality account of the rabbit because they are just a random leg moving around because you just have like. 10, 20 rabbits, you just put them in a little hut and then no cage construction system 
everybody eating everybody i mean everybody breathing by everybody that way you can even engulf into inbreeding situation but when your rabbit have cages then you will be able to develop a numbering system for those cages then you can be able to tell which relationship and what relationship because in rabbit you need to understand their relationship I got a video down the line that I discussed about inbreeding. So I can I will share the link with you that you're going to know due to what is inbreeding. But for now, we are on the, the basis of, of quality cage construction. The importance of creating quality cages is what we're discussing right now. So I always like to tell people that you need to make it your business to always work on that. There's a guy who bought from me from Jakarta here. And uh, what happened is that the bony was okay, doing pretty well, but it was just in the garage. So when I when he called me, I took upon my time because that's what I do. All of my clients, I make myself available to visit you. When you buy a rabbit for me, I always visit you to tell you the necessary things you need to do, the kind of fee you need to get a rabbit, the kind of temperature I need to go and inspect it. Because the money you pay to me, I want you to benefit your money. That's the kind of a, that's the kind of a person I am. I, I'm not just one person who will just sell the rabbit to you and gain up. Except when you are when you are an experienced rabbit farmer, then I don't have a problem. But once you confess to me that look, I'm a new person into this process, I'm always in between until you can get used to the system, then I'll let you be. Because what I believe that we all should be successful whatsoever we desire to do. So only the founder of my brother have the challenge uh, and now already follow the rules and regulation. When I told him, I said, yeah, the, the, the garage is okay, but you need a cage construction. You need to construct a cage and then you have to make sure you have a key because your yard is so packed. You got children, you got other, other people here and the garage, I noticed, can be always open for ventilation. So you just have to create a cage system that way the rabbit will be 100 percent protected the information was passed over when i returned back to base i even called him i said you need to also create the cage unfortunately for him the rabbit gave breath everything only for him to call me back and tell me that his rabbit is sick the rabbit is not eating any longer in fact the children she gave birth to, she's worried. They might not feed the children. She might not give the children breast milk because she's not eating. So I said, well, are you, did you create the cage? Did you really keep the rabbit in cage that only you possess the key? Because I saw your environment and I told you what exactly to do. And for real, he confessed the fact. He said, I did not create the cage. I said, but then you, you are a fraud you are at fault so you see guys this is why in rabbit farming you don't take information lightly you don't take information lightly therefore instead in that video that i share with you about inbreeding you don't take when you take information lightly about rabbit farming sometimes you run into zero or, or, or damage because now he bought his rabbit but i don't think he will get any other means of getting out because of what he did because eventually if that rabbit die the kid it give breath to they won't survive they won't survive because they need to be breastfeed so you see that so whenever you have the rabbit pet make sure you create a very safe environment that you yourself trust when you get a rabbit in a place that you get four five six people you should be very careful with the bunny you should be very careful because while the bunny is eye catching Predators want to get in touch with the rabbit. Other people want to get in touch with the rabbit. Everybody for their own reason. So in order to be on the safe side, keep your rabbit in a very safe environment. And that is construct a self-cleaning cage, put the rabbit in there, give the rabbit food, give the rabbit water. This is one of the great things that you don't know. Rabbit don't bother you for so many large kind of space. No, rabbit don't have time for that. When you have the rabbit in the cage from January to December, it will be there. All you know, give the rabbit feed, give the rabbit water. The rabbit will be there. And that's why when you are creating the cage, you got to make the cage somehow, you know, 
spatial so that a rabbit can be able to hook in it can be able to run in it so guys i just want to say thank you for watching please take note take note that is very important to create quality cages at your rabbit farm that's one of the best way you can ever make quality cash in your farming venture and we also tell you the difference relationship between the mom and dad who you're supposed to pair to them to meet intentional intercourse sexual intercourse to breed another set of rabbit the only way you can know all of these things is by putting in cages system in place and you know the type of rabbit you got in which case and what cage so guys my name is Baka Estilo don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to like as well you can also share my video in all the social media platform and I uh, I really appreciate I really appreciate we are also on taking some development around here if you want to make a donation you're welcome your cash are highly welcome they're going to be used sincerely towards the propagating of those animals so I want to say one for me to you and maintain the peace until we see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.